Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19. Today it is time for part 45 of Season 3. I can't believe we're at part 45 already. Just to put it into some context, Season 2 was only 48 episodes entirely. Not at this point, entirely. 48 episodes. Of course, we didn't play the long matches in Season 2 at most tournaments. That would, of course, would affect things. But even so, to be at episode 45 at this point just shows how well... We have done in today's episode, we have the climax of the match against Stuart Bingham in the quarterfinal of the Daffabet Masters. We lead 4-0 against Bull Run Bingham at the moment. A really good start from us. And it's just about trying to continue that and hopefully getting through to the semi-final. There's been a few calls in the comments recently that maybe we should go up to Pro Plus. Maybe we should increase difficulty for myself. And if, if we start to win tournaments particularly regularly and, and start to completely whoop the competition, then yes, I will do that. But at the moment, to be honest, I'm still considering that we went out of the UK Championship at the quarterfinal. You know, we, we've had a few last 16 uh, exits recently. We, we're not in brilliant form. Yes, we have been recently sure in this tournament and in the Scottish Open. But I don't really think there's... There's much need to change difficulty personally at the moment. Of course, if things keep going as they are, then we will change difficulty. But I think this is just down at the moment to how well we are playing. We've left one red off the black off though. The black off, the break off, and uh, Bingham's got it nice and safe. Good shot there. Now, the one misconception you can definitely have at this point in a match that being 4 0 up means it's all over. And well, it's absolutely not. As always. After the mid-session interval, the first two frames are massive. I don't know if that blue covers that red going to the corner pocket. I don't think it does. It must do, or it must just not fancy it. These first two frames are massive. Bingham brings it back to 4-2, and it's match on again. No, those two reds don't go. I didn't think they did. And I think... Oh, does that... Yeah, you'd have to play a plant. Unless you could see the other red, obviously. One red blocking the other to the corner pocket. That looks okay from a safety point of view. Mm, actually, does it? He might be able to see the red here. Not exactly entirely sure. Yep, yeah, he can. He's going for it. Good pot from Bingham. One. So he's got the first chance of frame number five here. Good shot. Never really got into any form, did Bingham, in the first session, to be honest. Really struggled. And we just took our chances and led 4-0. It's very rare. We've, I don't think we've ever done that after a first session. Maybe against Van Zeng Yi in the Shanghai Masters, for goodness sake. Uh, but 15. I think we did it against Mark Allen, didn't we, once? We were going for the we were going for the um, whitewash by 6-0. But I think apart from that, we've never done it. So a really good achievement. But we've never actually... I don't think we, for a long time, have been on the wrong side of the first session. That's why we've been playing so well. It's been that first session... That's been so key. The only first session that I guess you could say went wrong was when we were two each with Barry Hawkins. And then of course we lost that match uh, by six frames to four. And of course that could be the only match that went badly. Because every match we've played on the long format so far in the UK, the Scottish and the Masters, we've won. Apart obviously from that Barry Hawkins match. So there's not really much to compare with in terms of uh, bad experiences. But Bingham in here in frame five. This is a big frame for Stuart Bingham. If he loses this frame, it is really game over, you have to say. But if he wins it, you know, if frame six wins that one and he's back in it, not the best positional shot there. Still going to go for the pot and execute it brilliantly. I certainly wouldn't have gone for that. Did really well there, but with his straight red, he's got it. Ooh, well. Far too hard there with that. Should have just delicately t pot potted it. Tapped it in, got on the black, and potentially opened up the red. So I really thought that was an opportunity for Stuart Bingham there. But this isn't one of the cases so I don't think, you know, if we move the difficulty up for ourselves, it's not going to make a difference. Because it's the AI making the mistakes, not, uh, you know, not us playing too well as such. The AI is still going to make that mistake, whatever difficulty you're on. Now, this edge red will go. Using a lot of power here just to get nicely onto that red. And this frame could still swing. Bingham will be absolutely gutted with himself, I know. There's not much of an opportunity here, to be fair. But even so, it's got to be a kick in the teeth. So 
to play from any side here and try and work this cue ball to be on the black. Trying to avoid the uh, the colours here. Uh, sorry, the reds. The colours. Trying to avoid hitting the reds here, but I don't think we're going to be able to avoid it. Let's just play the, the cannon. Hopefully get on the black. The split looks good to me. Mm, that's not terrible, but it's not a great chance. Got brown and green up the table. But I think we're going to have to play the black. This is a risky shot, this, but I, I think it's a chance we can probably take being 4 0 up. Nope. Well, poor shot there. Really poor shot. But, as you can see, we pretty much get away with it there. Unless Bingham plays a successful shot off the cushion, he doesn't. That's a good safety, though, that. Really nice stuff. But we'll just play up and down the table, I think, here. As thin as possible in the, with that red. Hopefully we don't hit the black on the way up. Oh, we do. Oh, man. I think we've got away with it again, have we? No, we don't. Need, oh, do. Oh. A little bit harder and we'd have snuck behind the blue and got away with it. But not the best start to this second session at all for us, to be honest. Very sloppy play, particularly in those last few shots. Oh, he's potted the blue. I thought he'd missed that. We need to be careful. He needs to make sure he can stamp out any mistakes that have occurred before. But I would back him to win this frame on now. But that's a bit of a loose shot. Means he's got to take on a long pot next. Good shot. I'd back Bingham to pot that usually, but the form he's been in, I'd worry about it. So colour after this, and I think... What will the back gap be? 56 with 59 on the table. So we need the next red. But blue and red, and he's got a frame back. Just the red required here. So not a whitewash for us. Played well this frame, Bingham. Not so good from us to be honest. A poor a few poor shots. We just haven't seen that clinical form from the AI recently where you give them a chance and they're knocking a break of well, I don't know, one twenty, one thirty. We haven't seen that for a bit. Tell you what, I'm not complaining though. One frame back for Bringham. It's, it's going to be tough for him to come back. Definitely. Still a three frame gap. And if we can extend that out to a four frame gap again, that would be excellent. But all of a sudden, if he wins frame six, the, the pressure's on us, I think, then. With Bingham being the informed player. Just the colours now. Playing a lot better in this session already than he did in the first. Of course, the... Current Masters winner in real life, but in game we are the holder of the Masters. For anyone who's new to the series or hasn't watched for a while, we have made the last two Masters finals and we're trying to make it a third successive final. That would be a really impressive stat. Ooh, ooh I thought he missed that brand there. Got a little bit lucky. Play that any harder and it might have just missed. But we lost in the Masters final in Season 1 to Mark Allen by 6 frames to 5. Uh, and then last year, we beat Mark Williams in the final by six frames to two. So we got our own back. Bit of a cut back here on the black to get the full clearance, but it looks like he's done it. A brilliant break of 78. And finally, Stuart Bingham has a frame. I don't know why I keep calling him Bingham. Goodness knows why. Stuart Bingham has a frame on the board. So he gets another shot here. Keeps in the chair. It's his break. Not the best of breaks in the world, but, uh, ooh. Does leave a potential chance on that red. Oh, if it's not the dog barking, it's a police car outside. There you go. We're going to have a go at this. I overplayed that, I think, for the position, but we've missed the red anyway. Tell you what, we need to stamp these sort of shots out, really. We might have got, I think that red definitely does go, actually. Past the black course it does, but we need to stamp out these shots. I don't know why we're... Playing so poorly so far this session. 
Good shot there from Bingham. Does that red? Maybe that red doesn't go past the black. No, it doesn't. No wonder he didn't go for it then. Right, let's try and get this red down the table. Oh, you idiot. I honestly don't know what's happening so far. I really don't. All this talk of us playing well and we play start to play silly shots. Maybe it's watching too much of the Championship League in the last week. Goodness knows, the standard has been terrible in some of those matches. And I think we're trying to replicate that. Bingham's getting every chance possible to get back into this match at the moment. Really don't know what's going on. Need to sort it out though. So hard work could very quickly be undone. It's amazing how many frames you can lose very quickly. It's a good shot there from Bingham. Eight. I think he needs a long pot here though, because I don't think the pink will go. Oh, he's going for the yellow. This could go wrong. And it has. Stuart Bingham. Eight. So back to the table we come. Wasn't the best positional shot, to be honest. So it makes me think he was half not really bothering. Uh, but there's a chance to get our first pot at this break. Just have to hit and hope here, I think. The red's there. It's a good split, and it's worked out fairly well. Tight cut on the black. We've actually potted two of those reds. One went into the same corner pocket after the first. A general, gentle touch on the black. There we go. Nice shot. And we just need to apply the right shots here. Keep calm and get back into this. Make sure that poor runner form is short lived. I think we can get for the long blue here. Give us position. Gonna be a little bit awkward with the black, but it's not the easiest shot in the world. Not that straight blue, but it's a good pop. Really nice from there. Right, anything but straight on this black. Oh, well, joking aside, I mean, we're not straight on the black. But uh, joking aside, we've got an awkward shot now. Oh, man. You can just tell when you're not in form, can't you? Because shots can go like that very quickly. There's the cue ball going. I think we're okay. Neil Robertson, I don't think one passed the other down that cushion, so just a safety here from Bingham. And he's hit the black as well. And he's given us a chance. About the straightest red you could possibly ask for. They'll be kicking himself. Again, we were so flawless in that first session that now we're starting to give a few opportunities away. He took them in that first frame of the session, but he's not took anything so far. But hopefully, one of these chances will just spring into life and we'll get our confidence back again. That's the interesting thing with Snooker 19. You can never master the game, I don't think. You've got to be on it all the time. Can't take your eye off the game for a second. Hmm. As you can see, we've left ourselves in a bit of a precarious position here. Wonder if we can just get this over onto the other cushion. Let's see. Nah, it's far too soft. We could have actually snookered ourselves there, you know. Not quite. Oh, maybe we might have. Well, would you believe that? We were trying to get over for one of these two reds on the cushion. But we've under-hit that massively, and we've put ourselves in a snooker. Really don't know what's happening in this session. The first bad session of snooker we're having for a while. 
Oh, we've missed that by way. It'll put us back here, I'd imagine. Not what he intended. And well, maybe not. Well, there you sure go. What his was. Obviously, his safety, op his safety options are better than putting us back there. Stuart Bingham. And would you look at that? You know, that, that that's terrible from Bingham. Really is. This won't be easy. I mean, he'll oh. take one of these chances, but, you know, we're, we're not playing our best by any stretch of the imagination. And He's an expert long potter. And he put us in a good snooker. Long. And then we couldn't get out of it. Maybe he might not have been able to pull us back. I'm still not clear on the rules. Uh, about whether he can pull us back or not. But even so, he should have forced us to continue because it would have only been a safety from that. Maybe the pressure of this game getting to him, who knows, but we're not playing the best, but we shouldn't worry because our opponent's not playing the best either. Hmm. We'll have to pop this to the black corner pocket because uh, the reds to the middle are a little bit dodgy. Just seeing if this red passes the other to the corner pocket. Always best to be safe. Uh, and sorry. Well, Pretty much a straight pot on the blue. Not worried about the pot, just position. Don't know what I'd do without that cheap blue. Obviously everything apart from the blue really is out of bounds apart from that the bulk colour. Colours, plural, not just the bulk colour. But just keep our focus. Uh, we'll put the black back on its spot. It's a good idea, actually. If we can get the right positional shot. No reliance to get entirely on the cushion. Just get past the middle pocket. There you go. Black's there, back on its spot. That's quite big. That'll help us out. And rather than going for one of these in the cushion, I think I'm going to go for this red here. So this pot into the right corner, and it's there. What a top shot that is! What a wonderful pot. Twenty-one. Wonder if that red will pass the pink from the other side. Should do. Nice tough to judge from these sort of angles. But I'm just going to make sure. Obviously the black will put us 44 ahead. So I think it's just best to get the, the other red on the cushion. The only problem is now is that we've kind of committed to go for that red. So we're going to find it a little bit tricky to get an angle on this. We're going to have to go with an awkward backspin shot. No guarantee it will work here, but it's worked out pretty nicely. And just the red needed to take a 5-1 lead. A scrappy frame, as I say, but we're just trying to keep our focus at the moment and play the easiest shots available. Just the red needed here. This isn't an easy shot, though, but it looks good. And with that red, we're one frame away from the Daffabet Masters semi-final, I think, unless we, just, unless we improve our play. We're just going to have to almost skid along the line here. We've got five frames in which to do it, so no real time pressure. I really left a red on at all there, have we? Let's try and give this a very thin nick. Nice. Good shot. Thought that was end of break there, but good shot nonetheless. So one each after the mid-session interval. Glad we got the frame, because, well, finger made it 2-0. We would start to worry a little. But it's not game over yet. I'd have said it'd be game over if we were playing to the form we were playing in the first session. But it just seems that... I mean, I've had a few days off Snooker 19, granted. But really sloppy so far. So hopefully that doesn't continue. Hopefully uh, potting these colours will give us a little bit of confidence. The long pot's on. Andy's going for it. Hey, not perfect there, but it's certainly manoeuvrable. Just the colours to go. Hmm, we overhit that. 
Might as well go for the double. Don't think we're going to get anywhere near, but oh well. Yeah, it's actually gone a little bit too far. Goodness me, but it doesn't matter. We didn't need that green for the frame anyway. And with that, we are one frame away now from the semi-final of the Daffabet Masters. Frame, Neil Robertson. And that is the frame. Thank you, the It'd be good if we could win this match with a good break, just to get our confidence back, or else that will be clouded in our mind going into that semi-final. I mean, I know I said it wasn't game over, but... It would be a shock, wouldn't it, at this point, if Bingham won the remaining five frames. I just think we need to get our head screwed on a little bit. I mean, he's got a chance at a pot here in frame seven. He's got it, so he's off to a start. But after this red, he's got to split them with the black. Nice shot. Anything but straight on that black, and that's exactly what he is. He'll find it tricky from here. I mean, he's got a good split, to be honest, considering his position. But no easy pot here. He's going to have to play this up the table to the book corner. And he's potted it. What a great pot. Well, if there's any time to be on your best behaviour and your best form, it is when you are on the edge of going out of the tournament. And that seems to be what Bingham's doing here. But unfortunately, short-lived. Just a safety, and he's safe. He's hasn't been the best today. But to be fair, we'll make an exception for that one. Ooh, we've overhit that. But because we've overhit it so much, the reds actually come back into uh, back into near the bunch. So I think it's okay. Yeah, it's okay, it's fine. Ooh, well. Not Bingham's finest hour there. Neither of our safeties have been particularly good, but uh, that wasn't great at all. No more than half a chance here. So is this the chance we need? What a fabulous is this the chance we need to win this match by six frames to one? Possibly. As I say, it's all about getting our momentum back. Not been the best session for us here. But you can't play every frame perfectly. I think that idea of perfection is the real problem. When you start playing well and you're beating players by a good total, when you fly, when you play a bad frame, it's almost, well, that shouldn't have happened. He's looking to pop this into the right corner. It's snooker night. It's one of the best games, unless I've just got a good, imagina a good imagination. It's one of the best games at immersion of the real life sport because you know you can you can play one frame really well and then all of a sudden can't pot a ball or can't get position. And I honestly think that luck is a thing in in this game. It really is. I know it sounds a bit trivial, something that you can't exactly script into a game, but it really does feel like that when you. When you're on a roll, you, you can get on anything. But sometimes, it just doesn't go for you. Go for the pink here. I mean, this isn't the best opportunity in the world, but we can certainly develop it to be that opportunity. Every red, every colour, every ball we pot puts us one closer to being in the semi-final, the last four of the Daffabet Masters. Had a good draw so far, uh, you know, Bingham and Murphy. It'd be very interesting to see if we got to that last four. Of course, we don't want to tempt fate <laughs> of not getting there. But uh, if we do get to that last four, it'd be very interesting to see who we draw. I can't remember who we played in the semi-finals last year. I know it was Williams in the final. It might well have been Mark Allen. I honestly can't remember. I don't know I was looking at the colour there. Right. Red it's going to have to be, and probably blue. That red near the black's not helping things. Hmm, so, where do we go from here? Awkward blue, this. Get it right and get that red out. This would take a good shot, really good queuing this would require. So we've got the pots. 
And we've got certainly decent position to get that red out of the way. But for this to really come off, we've got to get position on the black. Looks okay to me. Pretty much outstanding. Maybe would have moved it an inch up the table. It's a slight cutback. Yeah, put your phone on silent. Good pot on the black. And that is a good split. Is this our chance now to go through? All Bingham can do is wait and hope that we make a mistake. But this is a good chance. Definitely. It's a good split. We played well in this frame. Certainly encouraging following some of our really sloppy frames so far. In this session. But early on in this in this match, the 4-0 the after that first session. Probably some of the best snooker we've played uh, in a long while. This run that we've had from the Scottish Open to the Daffabet Mass is probably our best run in snooker 19. So it'd be a real shame if this session diminished any of that good form. But hopefully it's just a, a bump in the road. But this is not too bad at all. Hopefully this break of 51 so far. It'd be great if we can make a ton, wouldn't it? Uh, there is still four reds. There's definitely a chance of us making that ton. But a century break would really be good just to silence the critics. And I'm, 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 I'm my own, I am my own worst critic. So that's the one you've got to silence. So, this blue, uh, well, I'm not surprised he's taking on 57, 51 available on the table, so we can still get the century. I was looking to see if that was the ball we needed, but of course Bingham's got 19 points, so not necessarily. This is a tough red, though. We've not positioned ourselves the best for this. Oh, dear. That was off target. That was off target, so... Hmm, maybe should have took a little bit more time over that. So 38 behind with 51 remaining. Bingham was hoping that we'd make a mistake. And that mistake we have made. It's not all over yet. Well, he's taking it on. Crucial shot this. Looks good to me. He's potted it. Pot. Can he produce the comeback? Every shot could be his last. That pressure will either scare him or give him the adrenaline he, he needs to clear up here. Just got to remember that red on the bulk cushion. Oh, he's done well. Not a definite pot, though. Good red. Great stuff. He looks good here, does Bingham. So if he gets the black, he'll be 18 behold. No, he's going for the... What's he going for? Is he going for the safety? He's going for the pink, and he's missed it. Oh, Stuart Bingham, that is... Oh, I feel really sorry for him. He should have just gone for the black. Got the points and maybe played the safety because now I really feel sorry for Bingham after that. I really do. Really do. This should win but all we game. need to get through is the yellow. And it's there. Well, that's crushed any chance for that's a, I'm really gutted for Bingham after that. He just made the wrong shot choice. He'd really got a chance of bringing it back. And with that green, I thought we've pretty much confirmed it. Not exactly the... Uh, most dramatic end to the match. But even so, he put up a decent fight there in that session, you know, did Bingham. And I'm genuinely really gutted for him. He just shouldn't have played that shot. Really shouldn't have played that shot. Should have just potted the black. He was trying to be greedy and clear the balls up. But he should have just played the black, played the safety. But hindsight is a wonderful thing. And we are through. I mean, I thought that after frame 5 and, and how we played in frame 6 just to skid our way through was pretty lucky and that Bingham would win frame number six, uh, frame number 7 the way we've just played and the chance we've given him but he didn't, he didn't take the chance and as has been mentioned in the comments section before you can only beat 20. the man in front of you try and pop this black, not the nicest to cut backs, don't like these shots at all but seeing as we've got the chance we might as well take it on and that is a brilliant shot and with that black we defeat Stuart Bingham. A great victory by six frames to two. Uh, six frames to one, sorry. Goodness me, I forgot. I don't know how I forgot that he didn't get two back. Only got the one back. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. We beat Stuart Bingham by six frames to one. And we are through to the semi-final. Only one match away now from 
the final of the Daffabet Masters for the third time in a row. Who's it going to be in the semis? I can't even look. I mean, Bingham got to the quarters. I think he would have beaten the, the top eight player to get there. I am going to make a guess of... I'm going to say Ronnie. Who's it going to be? I can't see yet. I can now. Ooh, the Wizard of Wishaw. John Higgins. Well, hmm, interesting. John's not been in, the, been in the best form recently. Not won anything since the Coral Tour Championship last year. But it's a well-known fact that John Higgins always turns up for the big events. That is going to be a tricky match. We've got a good record against Higgins, but in the big tournaments, he always turns up and plays well. That is going to be tricky. Really is going to be tricky, but I'm looking forward to it. If you guys are as well, make sure to leave a like on the video. Comment down below your thoughts as well and subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday and on a Sunday. Episodes 46 and 47 will cover that semi-final. The first four frames in episode 46 and then the climax in episode 47. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to continue to stay safe and take care of yourselves during this time. And we'll be back in a few days with the matchup against the Wizard of Wishaw. Goodbye for now.